Today's lesson is called Carnival Fun Around the World. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Roger. Today we're going to have some fun with carnivals. And of course they're having carnivals all around the world because I guess Lent is coming up here pretty soon. And if you're a good Catholic boy or a good Catholic girl, you've got to give something up for Lent, which of course is what the period before Easter or something like that. You've got to make some sacrifice. But before they give something up, of course, they have a lot of fun at these carnivals. There you go. Before you give everything up for Lent, You have a good time. You have a carnival, or you take part in a carnival somewhere in the Catholic world. Yes, I am Catholic, but I didn't really grow up in a Catholic part of the world. I grew up in the Southern United States, and outside of New Orleans and Louisiana, it's a very Protestant part of the country. There aren't a whole lot of carnivals there, and I don't even believe that Protestants even have Lent. But what is Lent? Lent. It's a period of forty days. It starts on a day called Ash Wednesday, and starting at that point, you kind of have to go without a lot. You sacrifice a lot. You don't eat meat on Fridays. You give things up. You make sacrifices in preparation for the coming of the Lord on Easter Sunday, and then you can have fun once again. But because Lent is tough, people they have fun right before Lent begins, so they have. Carnival celebrations and stuff like that, and we're going to learn all about these carnival celebrations, this carnival fun to be had around the world throughout our lesson. It's going to be a good lesson, so let's get started. Let's get started right after we take a break. Carnival fun around the world. Carnival is a major celebration in some parts of the world. It occurs in February or March over the days leading up to Ash Wednesday, which is when the period of Lent begins. For Catholics, Carnival is a chance to eat, drink, and be merry before fasting for forty days. Hello, the first part we see in the title of the word "carnival." This word is a verb that means a holiday or a festival. For example, the city's carnival includes parades. Parties and concerts. 该市的嘉年华会包含游行、派对和音乐会。All right, it's time for us to discuss the contents of today's lesson. So please listen carefully. The first sentence here says, "Carnival is a major celebration in some parts of the world." So again, the key word here is carnival, which usually refers to this celebration that happens in the Catholic world before Lent starts. A carnival can also be some kind of fun activity that、uh, travels around the country. When I was a kid, I remember the carnival would come to town. They'd bring these rides that you could ride on, like a, a merry-go-round carousel. Cell or Ferris wheel, a mini roller coaster, and then you could play these games where you toss rings or throw darts at balloons or something like that. That was a carnival, but in this particular case, it's referring specifically to these celebrations in the Catholic world that happen before Lent. There you go. People do use this word specifically, but otherwise, a carnival could just be like. A fair, like Roger was talking about before. In fact, I believe carnivals kind of have a song associated with them. The song, do 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 do, kind of like a fair or a circus. It's just a place we would go to have fun, like a traveling circus or a fair that moves around. Anyways, though, yes, we're being specific here. Carnival is a major celebration in some parts of the world. Anyways, yes, here we've got the word celebration. It's a noun. It comes from the verb celebrate. Yes, celebrations. What are they? Celebrations are events that are meant to celebrate something special—a special festival, or a holiday, or something like that. Indeed, a celebration, and of course, you celebrate something. You could celebrate someone's birthday, or you could celebrate a national holiday. And of course, the noun form of the verb celebrate is a celebration. So, of course, it's a major, it's a big celebration in some parts of the world, especially. 
where there are a lot of Catholics. Now it occurs in February or March. Over the days leading up to Ash Wednesday, which is when the period of Lent begins, so I've、uh, looked this up before. I'm not Catholic; doesn't affect me directly. But there is a way to determine when Easter is and when Ash Wednesday happens. I think it has to do with like the first full moon after the winter solstice or something like that, and that's how you determine when Easter is. So it varies every year. It could、uh, happen in February. Or it could happen in March, and of course、uh, that's Carnival, and、uh, it occurs in the days before Ash Wednesday, leading up to means before basically Ash Wednesday. Is what you go to the church or something, and the priest puts a little bit of ash on your forehead or something like that. And、mm. yeah, that's、uh, really cool, I guess, to Catholics. That's the period that represents the start of Lent. Well, it it is it is a bit strange. On Ash Wednesday, you might walk around and you might see people with a smudge of black ash on their foreheads, and you might say, "Hey, what's all this about?" Well, it's Ash Wednesday. It marks the beginning of Lent, and the priest reminds you that Lent is. Beginning, and because Lent's kind of a tough time, they remind you that Lent is beginning and that you are mortal as well. The priest will put that ash on your forehead and say, "Remember, you are ash, and to ash you shall return. You were made from dirt by God, and you will return to dirt one day because of God." Yes, that's what Ash Wednesday is all about. But if you walk around and do see someone with a bunch of black ash on their forehead, you might be thinking, "Hey, what the heck is going on there?" Well, that's an Ash Wednesday thing for Catholics. Anyways, yes. It okay. Carnival occurs over the days leading up to Ash Wednesday. Okay, this is when Carnival takes place in the days leading up to Ash Wednesday, or in the days before or preceding Ash Wednesday. And in the Catholic Church, Ash Wednesday is kind of a big deal. Not as big as Easter, but still a big deal nonetheless. Anyways, let's have an example sentence for this phrase leading up to. You could say. In the days leading up to Christmas, shoppers pour into stores to buy gifts. Anyways, for Catholics, Carnival is a chance to eat, drink, and be merry before fasting for forty days. And no one actually fasts for the entire forty days. Okay, you'd probably starve to death if you did that. But some people might. Fast when the sun is up, or something like that, or might fast on certain important days. They will fast. They will go without food intentionally. Okay, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. As far as carnival celebrations go, the biggest one is in Rio de Janeiro. The Brazilian city organizes countless street parties. But it's the annual parade of the samba schools that gives Rio's carnival its magic. Imagine thousands of dancers in glittering costumes moving to the rhythms of samba. The U.S. city of New Orleans is also famous for its festival, which is better known locally as Mardi Gras, French for Fat Tuesday. The people of New Orleans put on a parade with gorgeous floats from which coins, strings of beads, and other goodies are thrown to spectators. Third part, we saw the word is glitter, shine, 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 shine. For example, the jewels on her costume glittered under the spotlight. Her costume on the stage shine, 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 shine. In addition, glitter, 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 那位歌手礼服上的亮片在阳光照射下闪闪发亮。再来，我们看到一个单字 “goody”， 这个字是名词，指好东西，常指好吃的食物。举例来说 ，On Easter Sunday, children awoke to find chocolates and other goodies in their Easter baskets. 在复活节当天，孩子们醒来会在他们的复活节篮子中发现巧克力以及其他好吃的食物。接着，我们看到的单字是名词 “spectator”。指观看体育比赛、活动、表演等的观众。例如 ，The new stadium can hold ten thousand spectators. 这座新体育场可容纳一万名观众。另外，补充与 spectator 相关的单词 spectacle， 
S P E C T A C L E， spectacle 也是名词，指奇观、壮观的场面。所以我们可以说 ，The play features a moving stage, and it's a spectacle you should go see. 那个演出以会移动的舞台为特色，是不可错过的奇观。Okay, it's time to talk about the second part of our lesson for today. As far as carnival celebrations go, the biggest one is in Rio de Janeiro. So, as far as just means when we're talking about these carnival celebrations, well, the biggest one. If you want to know, in case you wanted to know, the biggest one, the most famous one, is down in Brazil in Rio de Janeiro.、So、of course, if you're in Brazil, things in Brazil are Brazilian. The Brazilian people, the Brazilian culture. Of course, they speak Portuguese down there. Well, this Brazilian city of Rio de Janeiro organizes countless street parties, but it's the annual parade of the samba schools that gives Rio's carnival its magic. So yes, this city organizes these street parties, parties that happen outdoors in the streets. But、uh, the big attraction there is that parade, the parade that takes place every year. Of those samba schools, you might say samba if you're speaking in Portuguese.、Uh, to me, samba is a kind of dance based on African rhythms and a combination of Brazilian rhythms and things like that. Sounds good to me. Anyways, if you were in Rio for this carnival, you probably wouldn't say, "Hey, let's go see carnival. Let's go take part in the festivities of carnival." I believe down there they would call it carnival. Which sounds a bit better. Anyways, though, more on Carnival, this fantastic carnival down there in Brazil. Well, it says here: imagine thousands of dancers in glittering costumes moving to the rhythms of samba. And yes, if you were to do this, you would start to get an idea of what Carnival feels like and looks like. Thousands of dancers in glittering costumes, dancing, 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 moving to the rhythms of samba. Sounds pretty good to me. Now we've got two vocabulary words to cover right now. The first of these is the word costume. A costume is a set of clothes that you wear when you want to look like something else or someone else. Yeah, costume in this situation is a special set of clothes that you might wear when you're performing. Celebrating, or when you are on stage, or a part of a parade, or something like that. Spies also wear costumes when they want to disguise their identities. Now, there's also this word rhythm to talk about. Here, a rhythm is a pattern that you find in a piece of music that makes you want to move or to dance. That's a kind of rhythm. There are different kinds of rhythms for different kinds of music, but my goodness, these people are dancing to the rhythms. Of samba. Now, the U.S. city of New Orleans is also famous for its festival, which is better known locally as Mardi Gras. Okay, so New Orleans is a city in the southern United States、uh, that is、uh, an area that used to be part of France. So there's a lot of French influence in New Orleans, hence the name Mardi Gras, which is French for Fat Tuesday. That's what Mardi Gras means in French, and basically that's the same kind of celebration. As they have down there in Brazil, but in this particular case, it takes place in New Orleans, Louisiana. Yup, and the French. They're Catholics, and in New France, there everybody who was living there was Catholic for the most part as well. So, for that reason, it's one of the only places in the South there where you do have a whole lot of Catholics, and they like to have fun before Lent begins. So they hold this amazing festival called Mardi Gras. Anyways, more on Mardi Gras. The people of New Orleans put on a parade with gorgeous floats from which coins, strings of beads, and other goodies. Are thrown to spectators. Yes, I've heard that Mardi Gras, the parade, is central to everything that goes on. You can't miss the parade if you go to Mardi Gras. The parade.
parade is just that important. Anyways, it says here the people of New Orleans put on a parade during Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras. That means they hold or they host or they produce this parade. You could put on a play, for example, if you write a play and you hire actors and things like that. But here, of course, they sponsor this parade. They hold this parade. You've got those floats, which are huata in Chinese. And of course, people are on those floats and they throw things to the spectators: coins, these、uh, strings of beads, and other goodies, other things you can eat, or little prizes or something like that. I've never been to this myself, but my brother went one year and he came back with all these plastic necklaces that、uh, he caught being thrown from those floats. Uh, they're made from cheap plastic, but they're still kind of cool. And if you're there, of course, you can collect those things. If you're watching a parade or something like that, then you are a spectator. Okay, that brings us to the end of the second part of our lesson. Let's move on now to the third part. Carnival celebrations in Venice, Italy, are elegant and steeped in tradition. People parade around the city in luxurious costumes and masks. Balls are held in centuries-old palaces, and there's also an event known as the Flight of the Angel. That's when a woman dressed as an angel flies over St. Mark's Square and greets the crowd below. It's truly an incredible sight. Third part. We see the word "luxurious" used to describe luxury or expensive goods. William wanted to surprise his girlfriend with a luxurious vacation to Paris. William 想用奢华的巴黎度假之旅给女友一个惊喜。另外，补充与 luxurious 相关的单词 luxury, l u x u r y, luxury 可以当形容词，也可以当名词使用。Luxury 当形容词时与 luxurious 同义。举例来说 ，Instead of leasing that luxury sedan. You should take a look at a model that's more in your price range. 与其租借那辆豪华轿车，你应该看看较符合你预算的车款。而 luxury 当名词时，则有奢华奢侈之意。所以可以说 ，The new hotel has several luxury suites on its top floors. 那家新旅馆的顶楼楼层有多间豪华套房。接下来是单字 saint， 这个字是名词，指圣徒、圣人，像是。The person who returned my lost wallet with all my money in it is a saint. 把我遗失的钱包原封不动归还给我的人是个圣人。最后，我们看到形容词 incredible， 指极美好的、了不起的。我们可以说 ，The acrobat performed several incredible stunts for the crowd. 那位杂技演员为群众表演了几招了不起的特技。而 incredible 除了以上的意思外，还可以指不可思议的。令人难以置信的，例如 ，the weightlifter was capable of incredible displays of strength. 那位举重选手能展现出令人难以置信的力量。Okay, before the break, we started talking about carnival celebrations to be had the world over. We started in Brazil, then we moved to the United States, or、so、we moved on to the United States, and we talked about Mardi Gras, but. Carnival and Mardi Gras are not the only carnival celebrations to be had the world over. Get this: carnival celebrations in Venice, Italy, are elegant and steeped in tradition. So first Brazil, then America, and now Italy as well. How about that? Now these carnival celebrations in Venice. It says here that they are steeped. In tradition. Now, if a place, let's say, is steeped in something, it is deeply influenced by that thing. It's surrounded by that thing on all sides, or this thing has permeated this thing, this place, to the core. We use this、uh, word "steep" when we talk about making tea,、uh, because you're soaking the tea leaves in hot water for a period of time. You're steeping the leaves in the water. I could say, "Steep the leaves in the hot water for one minute, and then pour the tea out." So, in this particular case, yes, they're steeped in tradition.、Uh, the celebrations in Venice, Italy, to be specific, people parade around the city in luxurious costumes and masks. Balls are held in centuries-old palaces, and there's also an event known as the Flight 
of the angel. Wow, it kind of makes me、uh, sad that I'm not a Catholic. Otherwise, I could、uh, celebrate. But in any case, here these、uh, traditions are steeped in tradition, or the celebrations rather. And yes, they're going to have that parade with those luxurious costumes. The costumes, of course, as you said earlier, are just the clothes you wear for a special occasion. But these are luxurious costumes. They're not cheap little costumes where you dress up like Spider-Man or a ghost or something. No, these are elaborate. They are luxurious. You're looking like a big king or a queen or something like that. There you go. You parade around the city there in Venice. In your luxurious costumes, you got a mask on. You go to balls held in centuries-old palaces. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic to celebrate Carnival in Venice. Anyways, more on this event known as the Flight of the Angel. That's when a woman dressed as an angel flies over St. Mark's Square and greets the crowd below. It's truly an incredible sight. I.e., it's a sight. That you will never forget for as long as you live, and the sight itself is incredible. It must be seen to be believed. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Let's turn things over now to our beloved Chinese teacher. Good morning, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。课文第二部分一开始提到 ，as far as carnival celebrations go, the biggest one is in Rio de Janeiro. 说到嘉年华庆祝活动，最盛大的就是在里约热内卢。那这边要介绍的是 as far as something goes。这意思是说，就某事而言，谈到某事或是关于某事，那其中的 as far as， 你也可以把它换成 so far as。那这个用法其实就相当于 as far as something is concerned， 或者是 so far as something is concerned。我们来举个例子 ，as far as safety is concerned， you can never be too careful。就安全来说啊，再小心也不为过。好，另外我们还可以用 as far as somebody is concerned， 或者是 so far as somebody is concerned 来表达说对某人而言。那这时候它的意思就跟 in somebody's opinion 差不多。例如 ，as far as I'm concerned， the pizza here is the best in town。对我来说啊，这里的披萨是城里最好吃的。好，顺便补充一个用法是。Go so far as to 加上动词，或者是 go as far as to 加上动词，这表示说甚至到什么样的程度。那这个片语是用来表达对某人或某事物的喜爱啊，或者憎恨到了一定的程度，然后做出令人想不到的事，像是做出某种出乎意料的行为啊，或是说出激烈的言论。例如 ，I wouldn't go so far as to say that Nick's a liar. 这句话就意味着 Nick 也许有点不老实，不过啊，还没有到要说他是骗子的程度。好，接着我们读到课文第二部分，有个句子是 ：The U.S. city of New Orleans is also famous for its festival, which is better known locally as Mardi Gras (French for Fat Tuesday)。美国城市纽奥良也是以庆典闻名，那在当地更常被称作忏悔节。在法文的意思呢是肥胖星期二。好，句子里面呢，它用到 be famous for 就表示以什么闻名。我们知道 famous 形容有名的嘛，那它的名词是 fame， f a m e， fame 表示名声、名望、声誉。它当动词可以表达使什么闻名，所以我们其实也可以用 be famed。For 来表达以什么闻名？好，那除了 be famous for, be famed for， 你还可以说 be well known for, be noted for， 或者是 be renowned for。其中这个 renowned 它是拼作 r e n o w n e d。renowned 是用来形容著名的。好，那这些用法呢？你后面都是可以接名词或动名词，例如。The city is noted for its beautiful beaches. 那个城市以美丽的海滩闻名。好，另外要提醒一下哦，课文里面用到 be better known as 加上名词这样的句型呢，是用来表达说人们比较熟知的称呼是什么什么。好，例如说。
Edith Giovanna Gassion, better known as Edith Piaf, is widely considered one of the greatest French singers. 爱迪乔·凡纳加雄呢，被广泛认为是最伟大的法国歌手之一。那人们比较熟知的称呼是爱迪·皮亚夫。他是谁呀、啊？哎，如果同学们有看过《玫瑰人生》这部电影呢，就是在讲这位法国歌手的传记。好啦，那么以上是今天的重点整理，我们回顾今天的单词吧。Carnival. My city will be having a carnival parade tomorrow. Celebration. Everyone is looking forward to the New Year's Eve celebration. Glitter, millions of stars glittered in the night sky. Costume, my Halloween costume last year was a vampire. Rhythm, the powerful rhythm of the music made the club shake. Spectator, spectators painted their faces in the colors of their favorite team. Luxurious. First class on this airline is truly luxurious. Saint Santa Claus was inspired by a real person named Saint Nicholas. 